National 5 March 2014, Paper 2, Question number 4. A runner has recorded her times in seconds for six laps of a running track. A. Part 1. Calculate the mean of these lap times. Show clearly all your working. To work out the mean. A. 1. Mean is denoted by the letter X with a bar on it, X bar. You add up all the results. 53 plus 57 plus 58 plus 60 plus 55 plus 56 and you divide by the number of results which is 6 okay so you put that into the calculator mean is the sum of the results divided by the number of results so you got 53 plus 57 plus 58 plus 60 plus 55 plus 56 and you divide by the number of results which in this case is 6 and that gives you a mean of 56.5 so mean is 56.5 that's part e1 now the second part, 1-1, one, one, is asking you to calculate the standard deviation of these lap times. Show clearly all your working. This is for three marks. To work out the standard deviation, you're going to end up with three columns. The first column is just the results that you're given. You write them vertically. So 53, 57, 58, 60. 55 and 56 your second column you take the mean away from each of these results, these results so x minus x bar and your third column x minus x bar all square basically square all the results that you're getting in your second column taking 56.5 away from 53 gives you minus 3.5 taking that away from 57 gives you 0 0.5 Taking it away from 58 gives you 1.5. Taking 56.5 away from 60 gives you 3.5. Taking away taking it away from 55 gives you minus 1.5. And taking it away from 56 gives you minus 0 0.5. Now you're going to square all of these results. Square of 3.5 is... Square of 3.5 is 12.25. Squaring 0 0.5 gives you 0 0.25. Squaring 1.5 gives you 2.25. Squaring 3.5 again because you already got that, so that gives you 12.25. Squaring minus 1.5 gives you 2.25. And squaring minus 0 0.5 obviously becomes positive when you square it, gives you 0 0.25. You add all of these up, which gives you 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Put a 0 down, carry a 3. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. 5 and carry a 1. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. You put there, there's a 9 and there's a 2. Now what you have here at the bottom of the third column is the sum x minus x bar all squared your actual standard deviation formula is the square root of in the numerator that's what you have in the numerator sum of x minus x bar all squared divided by n minus 1 n minus 1 is the number of results minus 1 so the your numerator underneath the square sign is just replaced by the 29.5 so the standard deviation is the square root of 29.5 divided by n, n is the number of results, minus 1, 6 minus 1, there are 6 results there, take 1 away, you get 5, you put this into your calculator, that would give you the standard deviation. So your standard deviation is 2.429. And if you look at the question in the second in part B of the question, they're giving you a standard deviation to 1 dp. So you 
looking at that, you run this to 1 dp. So your standard deviation is 2.4. That's your standard deviation. That's part, second part of A. This is for 3 marks. So now we are on B. For B, you're being asked, you're being told that she, she changes her training routine, hoping to improve her consistency. After this change, she records her times for another 6 laps. The mean is 55 seconds and the standard deviation is 3.2 seconds. Has the new training routine improved her consistency? Give a reason for your answer. This is just for one mark. So you're only being asked to comment on the standard deviation. Her standard deviation is now 3.2 and her standard deviation before was 2.4. So that means that As the standard deviation is higher, as the standard deviation is higher, that means that there is less consistency. And our lap times then you have to actually write down those results use those results i.e. 3.2 is greater than 2.4 that would get you the one mark